A lot of people are concerned with who they are, what they are, what they're doing, when they should do it, why they are. But the warrior is concerned with how he is, how he is in this very moment. And it is through this avenue, this perspective that can elevate all like physical training to a, a practice of self-mastery. This idea is actually the foundation of, you know, the traditional martial arts schools and philosophy of the East is seeing that, wow, this container of physical movement is actually the best way to embody principles, to embody virtues that are essential to living the good life. Let's talk about how you are. How you are comes down to a couple key components. It is attitude attention, your posture, poise, your overall embodiment. These three things. Training is not just about moving your body or learning a new skill or like going through the motions to lose weight or gain muscle. Training is about practicing in excellence. Are you doing your best, right? Let's say you go to the gym, you have an hour container, you go to the martial arts club, you go to the climbing wall. Really think about training in excellence, practicing being the best you, right? And this comes down to the first and foremost concern of the warrior, which is attitude. How, what is your attitude like in this moment? Is it half-hearted? Is it timid? Is it distracted? Or is it all the way in? The mood of the warrior is one of the termination of dynamis and, and most importantly, excellence. Excellence here and now. Because to the warrior, like each day of training is training for a mortal craft. It is really do or die. And when he takes in that move, when he takes in that attitude, my friends, barriers fall, right? When you correct your attitude, pain becomes more endurable and excellence and energy is brought forth from like deep within. So correct your attitude. The second thing that is critical in training is your attention. Like you don't build skill by like mindlessly rolling around the gym. You build skill by letting your attention burn and ever bringing it back to the present moment. Like when you're doing a, like in martial arts, if I'm doing a punch or a kick, it's like how much consciousness, how much presence can I bring into that movement? How much consciousness can I connect to the ground? Can I connect to my opponent, right? How much attention are you letting burn in this present moment and ever bringing your attention back to it? And every time you do that, it's like one mental rep. You are literally sharpening the sword of your mind because most people just let their attention wander everywhere at all times. It's so important to have containers where you are training your attention to not only burn in the present moment, but to stay centered, to stay focused on the present moment. And in this way, all training can become an avenue for self-mastery. The two fundamental principles, again, is let's like, think about this as your last act on earth. If this was your final dance, how would you go, like to go out? With, with excellence, with flair, with spontaneity, with power, or with half measures and timidity? And also, where is your attention at, right? When you focus on how you are in training, in these containers for practice, right? You elevate your state of being. You, you, you cultivate your mind, body, and spirit to become a sharp sword, right? And when you do this, it can start to permeate your life in other ways. You'll start noticing you, yourself correcting your attitude when you walk, when you work. You'll start noticing correcting your attention when you're doing, you know, just washing the dishes. And this is the way of the warrior. The last thing I wanna talk about here is that when we focus on how we are, we enter into the doorway, the threshold of flow and flow states. If you wanna create more flow states, more excellence, more genius, more fulfillment in your life, right? It is focusing on the elements that initiate flow. And those elements are correcting your attitude and, and intention, attention to fully engage with the task before you. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian. This is Wisdom Warriors. If you enjoy this content, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Furthermore, link in the description to sign up for an email about my upcoming book, The Psychology of Slaying Dragons. Peace.